So when the zombie apocalypse hits, and there's no more bars or liquor stores, am I going to have to give up drinking? Nah. I'm all set. Hey guys, I grow a lot of these bananas, but I can't eat them all. I cut down maybe 75 pounds of them at once, they go bad way too fast. Pretty soon they're looking like this. Now, there's a lot of things you can do with bananas. You can peel them and freeze them, it's like a popsicle, but better. But I like to save a few of them. For banana shine. Now I'm going to show you how to make your own. As you can see, I'm almost out of my last batch. Time to make some more. Josh's famous banana shine is based on pureed overripe bananas, spiced pear juice, coconut water, and a whole lot neutral grain spirits. You could brew this up with pretty much any kind of clear liquor that you want to make at home or buy at the store, but this is the easy way. So the first step is to ripen up about eight bananas pretty far past where you'd want to eat them. Peel them, puree them. I already did that and froze them, so it's ready to go. All I have to do is dump it in the pot, and then we're going to mix it in with the juices. And then we have three quarters of a cup of sugar. That's pretty important. This is actually a liqueur rather than traditional moonshine. And liqueurs are supposed to be pretty sweet. Next, I'm going to bring it to a boil while stirring. This is very important to get the sugar completely dissolved and all of the ingredients mixed. Otherwise, it'll all sit in a clump on the bottom. All right. I 
think we've got it boiled sufficiently. Now it's time to let it cool. I really wish you could smell this. When you too bad smell a vision, I'm reshooting this video. This is amazing. Okay guys, last step. Here's the fun part. One liter. I'm using diesel neutral grain spirits. You can use Everclear or whatever you want to brew up at home. Make sure you do this when it's nice and cool, otherwise, it all evaporates. If you put it in before you boil it, you won't get anything. All right, so I packaged it up in the only way banana shine should be packaged, and I've let it chill. Let's give it a try. It smells really good. Mmm, that is my favorite drink. I love this stuff. So, this is banana shine, it's a banana liqueur. Next batch, I'm gonna try banana beer. I've got a recipe based on a traditional African banana beer and I'm hoping it's gonna be even better. Now, this stuff, right on a hot day, you can drink it anytime. So I made this batch by adding in store-bought alcohol. Next step, Homebrew. You can make this out of pretty much anything you want, but as long as you make something that's good, you're going to be a pretty popular guy when the zombies take over and there's no more liquor store. Thanks for watching, guys. We have a new video out every Tuesday, so don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss it. This is Urban Survival Craft. Cheers.